Good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? Hello, good afternoon. They own the bots on. Did you hear me, Melody? Hyundai. I said good afternoon to you too. Oh. Hello, Miss Lori. Hi, Grandma D. Hi, Aunt Carolyn. Hi. Hello. On the own day, Bubble. Oh. On the own day, Bubble. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over this cold or allergies or whatever it is. So hopefully you can hear me okay. All right, let's see, we still have some people logging in. Hello, Zotai family. I got a message from uh, Judy and she said she would join um, as soon as she could. All right, welcome. Um, okay, so for our Sunday sessions, um, this is a part of learnkiowa.org. Um, and we wanted to have these Kiowa language community sessions to continue um, what we started under the um, previous uh, Kiowa language and culture revitalization program. Um, so really excited that, um, our elders, our mentors agreed to be a part of this, of these sessions and kind of help us to continue learning. And we wanted to use our time during Sundays to um, listen to some of our old uh, Kiowa culture program recordings and hear um, interpretations um, and translations um, from our mentors. So, and we also um, want to use these time uh, to if we want to, uh, we have started um, going through some Kiowa hymns um, on Ralph Cote's uh, recordings. And we've also listened to some recordings that uh, Grandma D had, um, and then some recordings from uh, Indians for Indians uh, radio program. Um, so let's see here. I can pull up the folder of all of the Kiowa culture program recordings so we can kind of take a look and see what everyone would be interested in listening to today. And I thought when we choose a recording, uh, we could use the prayer that they have um, on those sessions. We could use that for our opening prayer today. Let me find the folder. <clears throat> All right. Okay. okay, can you see my screen? Oh. Okay. 
Uh, okay, we'll go to over here. All right, so here's the recordings. These are the titles, and I'll just scroll down. You can see that there are hundreds of them, literally. Um, and so, what um, what would you all like to listen to today? And I'll, I'll start at the top and we'll just uh, go slowly through the list. So just a uh, shout out or type in the chat if you see something that you'd like to uh, listen to. Hello, Ms. Ritchie. We're just um, looking at all the topics of the Kiowa Culture Program recordings. And I'm just having everyone take a look. There's like around 250 of them. And so just, you know, having people throw out some ideas of what recording we want to listen to today. All right. Good afternoon, y'all. Hello. <clears throat> All right, so we have a, a suggestion from the Sotai family. Um, the use of nature. All right, let me find. Okay, that's um, tape number 38. So I will, I'm going to download that while we're looking at the others. Okay, and then nature or Kiowa's till soil and in their medicine, and then food and clothing. Okay, uh, so let's see, Kiowa's till soil is this one, number 85. Oops. I'll download that one. And then in their medicine, did you mean this one, number 41? Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, cool. And then uh, food and clothing. All right, so we have a few to choose from, it sounds like, for today. And you can see there's lots and lots of others. Um, and they just kind of keep on going down the list. <clears throat> I think, uh, Grandma D, you're probably the only one that's listened to all of the recordings, huh? Here. I've listened to all of them, but uh, <clears throat> quite a few. Yeah. I'm still working on listening to all of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, Terry voted for the war bonnet one, changes after settlement, and the brush dance one. Cool. Okay. So let's see, war bonnet. Where was that? Here's the brush dance one. And then 
going through war bonding. Oh, that's a good question. Um, Donna, you could ask that question while we're waiting for these to download if you want. Okay, I wanted to um, ask if we have a bee story or anything related to bees and honey. So I'm, I have my own apiary and um, I wanted to make those connections to any healing or food or traditions that we have. Awesome, that's a good question. Um, Grandma D or uh, Miss Brenda, do you um, have any um, knowledge of anything around what Kyle has thought about bees and honey? I don't, only thing I remember is the story that Bert Gigamal told about something about the bees, he ran into the bees. It was just a story that happened to him. And I, and I heard it on some recording, I don't know if it's this one or the ones that he did, Bert Gigamal himself. I mean, they were recording of him. So that's all I know, it was just a funny story <laughs> that I remember. But nothing about caring for bees and knowing what they were. I'm sure they did, but I don't that part I don't I don't recall. <clears throat> I think there is so there's this right here. There's this recording that might be interesting, uh, Donna. Um, insect names in Kiowa might have something about bees. I don't know what that recording is, but <clears throat> we could put that on our list of ones to listen to to see okay. what's in it. That sounds good. <clears throat> um, let's see. Let me look. Well, I, mean, I was wondering if we could listen to um, number 78, the trials of um, sitting bear, white bear, and big tree. Ah, okay. That's some history that maybe you all be familiar with. Yes. Okay, that's a good one. Let me um, download that one too. Yeah, there it is. Awesome. And then this one. Okay, so we have a few um, options. So let me go back to the chat here. <laughs> okay, so for today, um, we have a couple couple people that want to listen to um, the use of nature. So we have a couple of uh, votes for the use of nature, and then we have Kiowa's uh, till soil, Indian medicine, food and clothing, Kiowa war bonnet, changes after settlement and the brush dance. So it looks like the most votes right now is the use of nature. And, and the next one is food and clothing. So what do you guys think? Use of nature or food and clothing? All right, let's see. Um, do any of you know how to use the little reactions button in Zoom? How you can uh, give a thumbs up or like a heart or a raise hand? Uh. <laughs> okay, so give me a thumbs up if you want to listen to the use of nature today. All right, we have a couple thumbs up. And 
Zotai family, was that a thumbs up for use of nature? Or were you just testing it out? Oh, there's Grandma Martha. Awesome. Okay, so we have like five votes for the use of nature. Um, how about anyone who wants to listen to food and clothing today? Mm -hmm. Hi, Grandma Martha. Hi. We're just uh, voting on the recording that we want to listen oh, to. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So it looks like uh, use of nature uh, got the most votes. So we'll start with that one. And depending on how long it is, sometimes we can get to two recordings, but it just kind of depends. Um, and so right now, our um, elder mentors that we have for translations, we have Grandma D, we have Grandma Martha, and we have Miss Brenda. And uh, Grandma Dorothy called and said that she would join um, if she could. <laughs> I guess there's a War Mothers meeting going on. She wasn't sure what time that starts at. Um, okay, well, let me uh, queue up uh, Use of Nature. And we'll, um, their opening prayer that they use, uh, we'll use that for our opening prayer for today. Oh. Well, I keep pressing the wrong button. All right. Oh, there's Judy. All right. Let me pull it up so we can all heat listen. Hi, Miss Judy. Hello. We're just uh, getting started. We just got done looking at the different titles of the recordings and everyone voted and we're going to listen to the recording number 38, Use of Nature today. And we'll start with that. And then we have uh, Grandma D, we have Grandma Martha now and Miss Brenda as our elders for our um, translations today and interpretations. So, um, all right. Uh, Color culture program is uh, we're having here at uh, home of Mr. Mrs. Harden Big Bow, and uh, people uh, are present today. I will call a roll. His name is Tom Little Chief, James Silverhorn. Hazel Bolton, Esther Topan, Lucy Somte, Isabel Two Etchett, Lloyd Toybar, George Cunha Dolly, Yale Spotted Bird, Bessie Ahene, Frank Somte, myself, Nelson Bigbo. And at this time, uh, this is session 46. I mean, I mean, pardon me, 47. And uh, I want to ask my brother, uh, uh, James Silverhorn, to lead us in uh, open prayer here. This is winter. It's about to end the winter, and uh, them kind of uh, people like him that uh, cow is holy, highly uh, respect something that you really sincere and need. That's what I've been told by the elders. And uh, at this time, there's something has kind of kind of touches in the heart that uh, I hope everything will turn out in our a good way and uh, I asked my, uh, my brother because I respect him and and that in the way I want him to pray but so long get I think I'm out of the dump, I think I don't get tired of that. 
Um, Grandma D, I know um, James Silverhorn uh, speaks really fast, Kiowa, but is there anything you'd like to say about his prayer? Well, he mentioned the winter the longest thing way, you know, I can't, I really have a hard time keeping up with him because he's, he speaks so fast. And uh, anyway, he's just talking about uh, the seasons, uh, winter time, and then he, at the end, I'll call it the last part of this part, is that as a group, he's speak, referring to the group that they all pray, he's sure, and they all pray together. And they all pray there. And so he's just acknowledging that, that every one of the participants pray at some point, and they do at the beginning of it. So I'm sorry I can't. Uh, uh, he talked about you know people being sick and prayers said for them, and he was just inclusive of everything. But it's hard for me to follow. So anyway, but that's uh, what I got out of it. Uh -huh. Thank you, Grandma. Um, Grandma Martha, would you like to share anything that you um, heard? <clears throat> okay. I'm like her. He spoke fast. <laughs> but he started out by talking about the change of the season, like she said. And it seems like he mentioned that the ground was white. We were talking about it. So it tells me he's kind of getting to be winter, I guess. And um, he talked about how the people were following like the Jesus road. And uh, they're always asking for uh, God's help. Um, and they're uh, talking about their their language and the way they say the prayers. And, uh, he said right now there was a lot going on. It seemed like he's mentioning them when people starting to get sick and things like that. So he's asking for the creator to feel sorry for us. And then he's telling everyone in his prayer to think about this, that we have a good life. He said, don't let anything um, that bad happen to us. And the creator again come to us and he said, uh, we should all pray together. That's what I got out of it. Oh, oh. Awesome. And then um, Ms. Brenda, I wasn't sure if you wanted to um, mention anything as well. Um, and I mentioned to you that we we're, I was with family, so um, I'll just listen if that's okay. Because I hardly oh. caught a word. I didn't, he spoke really fast, so, and I'm a slow oh. listener, so I'm sorry. Oh, we appreciate you. Thank you. 
All right, awesome. Um, let's see, does anyone have any questions for uh, Grandma D or Grandma Martha? Okay, we're gonna uh, press play and see um, who the first speaker is. Uh, cool. Uh, cool. James Silver, we'll go ahead and discuss the nature. Colum hain te lon te son hain te le kan ke kou ta me on te pm kon te kiem ko te on te pala hon se ko pe ko ha ke mon ai la o se mo se ha ke pu yon te ko la ta ta se ko ye ko pu mon so lon te ko so lo ke do ke ha he no mo hi on te a ke te ki ai do te ki san ki kon te mo ke so ho le hon te ki dom te on te ki le to so ke dem ko dom ku yu ko dom te ya ke ta ten ki ai do te ki to yu ki Uh, what help? Okay. Okay. Uh, go. So, James go ahead and discuss the nature. Yeah, <laughs> And he didn't really talk for too long either. Uh, Grandma D, were you able to catch anything? Well, he was just talking about how gong, he said the word he uses gong, get dark in the past. Gong, gong, get dark in the past. And then he talked about how God created everything and, and the Gargu and also other tribes. And that uh, he mentioned uh, things that he provided, and and that the uh, I guess Kiowas knew what they were. I think he used the word goggle, and that's uh, either 
uh, buffalo or beef or whatever. I think he mentioned that. He was mentioning things that that was created and and that he created everything and he created and he ended up with saying that um, God gave us the Kyle wasn't it gave us our language also. And then he mentioned that uh, uh, the uh, black people came and that was a, I don't I can't remember the word he used for them, but anyway, they they kind of came and interfered with everything. And it was still that way. And uh, <clears throat> and then uh, that was, I'm doing good to get that much. But anyway, that's, <laughs> I've, got, I've got a lot more out of it, but I will probably have to hear it several more times. So maybe Martha and Nell can fill in all the rest of it. That's that's what I know. Oh, oh. Uh, Grandma Martha. Okay. Uh, yeah, he starts out by saying, um, talking about the Kiowa people of long ago. I put Kiowa of old. This is what I was thinking like a long time ago. And uh, he was saying that um, God uh, gave us this land. Um, I kind of missed some of the phrase he said. He said, Domoy something. And I couldn't get that last word in there. Uh, but he's saying that, you know, he gave it to us and, and wanted us to take care of it. And um, we had to start buying things. He said they didn't buy things before. I guess they bartered. But anyway, he just started buying things. And the things became kind of expensive and then he talked about when the whites came he said they kind of spoiled it for us they said get yeah, saw a hole that means they kind of, <laughs> kind of took away our our way of doing things I guess so you know we had to change to be like them and then uh, he said it really was like this he said but the one good thing that he ended with is he said we still have our language Oh, oh. Um, did you so I wanted to um, one of the words I heard him say which I know we've heard before in these recordings is uh, eat I dog uh, eat eat I dog mm -hmm. is that white meated people yeah I think that's when he started talking about the white people yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> and then uh, Grandma D you said that uh, he referred to in the past and you said it's Gom ya Gom ya. Gom ya Yeah, gom ya In the past. Gom ya is behind. So it's in the past. Yeah. Awesome. And then, um, and then, uh, Grandma Martha, you said, uh, yeah, saw hold. Yeah, you said, no, no, so he I got came. I said, get saw a hole. That means they kind of ruined it for us. They took away a little bit of what the way we lived. What how would you what would you say the uh, literal translation is get saw hole? Get, get is that yeah. yeah, saw a hole. They ruined it for us basically. Yeah. Okay. Saw so, oh. hole. I'm gonna well. Yeah. I'm going to try to put those words in the chat. I'm not good at the diacritic marks like uh, Dane or Andrew are. So I'm not either in, in this system. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the chat so at least we can try to see. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Girl Martha, if you could look in the chat and just um, okay. let me know if you have any, if I spelled it wrong. Just, um, it's real simple. It's S A U and then H O L. Who <laughs> killed it for us? <laughs> yep, so whole. <laughs> Ruined yeah. it for us. Whole is whole is to kill, I guess. So so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> wow. And then um, uh, I heard him say in the beginning. He said, "Go get Omba." Mm -hmm. So he's talking about us, you know that. And then he talked about 
people in the past. I'm like the guy was in the past. That's awesome. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see. Does anyone have any questions? Hi, Courtney. Hello. <laughs> Um, so to me, it sounded like uh, Mr. James Silverhorn, like to me, like a main takeaway is that even though he said, even though we um, things had to change, things changed for us, we still have our language, but that since God gave us the land, God wanted us to take care of the land. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was really cool. <clears throat> All right. Well, shall we listen to the next speaker? ก็ก็ไม่ทําเลยเลยเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเ
Tejón te queda, que han mojado todo, no está aquí antes. Después de eso de que está aquí, que no hay que ni atento, no hay que ir a todo. Digo, pan aquí, pan se está aquí, que es algo. Que es que se han dado en el pedo, que está aquí, que no hay atento, que está con ya que hay. Hoy después de esto con ya que hay, que se han hecho. Well, he started out and was saying that um, God created everything and then an on point what he said he finished everything and then he and then he uh, created man and he made everything and uh, then uh, and that God loves us, he said. And uh, then he mentioned uh, how everything was he provided and made everything. And if you were industrious, uh, stalled off, I think is the word he used, then you would make it because everything was provided. And if you were bo'o, meaning that you weren't quite as industrious, then he mentioned those two terms about how you would make your life. And then he ended up by saying, uh, in between there are other things that I can't recall, but he said uh, that he gave his name and he said his age that I'm still here because of God that he was here able to <clears throat> be alive, I guess. And, uh, and then he said that that was because of God that all those things that he provided and that's why he's still here. And he gave his name, his age. And I'll leave that to Martha now. She, she can't count better than I can. But anyway, he gave his age at that time. So, <clears throat> oh, Omaha. Oh. I can, yeah, yeah, hi, you know. <laughs> oh. Oh, good work. Okay, <clears throat> he starts out by saying, Tongo Gedome, which is long ago. So he's kind of setting the time that he wants to talk from. And uh, <clears throat> he mentioned, like she said, that God created everything. And he also created man and gave man the right uh, to live here. And But he had a question, sort of like he said. He didn't know if he had made the whites be in charge. That was kind of like a question. But um, he went on to say that he, he loved us. Um, and that's that, you know, when we always say that, um, do they and do, seems like loved us rather than, uh, I really think a lot of you would see other phrase that we use. So to me, this is kind of a little more um, beefing that up. Uh, and so she went on to mention the good things that he did and kind of uh, fixed everything and seemed like <clears throat> to me, he's talking about how the Indians benefited from the things that he had. And we learn to get along all this time. You have to learn your way. Like she said, you're either going to be industrious or you're not going to be. And that's the way your life would probably go. And um, <clears throat> then he ended it up by saying today he still had the right and he is a Kiowa man. And he said he was age 77. I had to really listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> he said, and I still speak Kiowa. That's how he ended. Oh, uh -huh. um, so the the word that he said when he said he said God loves us he said was it he said goat goat they they dog do goat they goat, dog do goat they da do they mm -hmm. what what is that he he said goat they da do day was the day that's for another word like the next word goat day means real you know like that's the part that says the love part because it's holding you really close. 
I mean, go to the old day. Is that what you mean? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. yeah. yeah he did. He loves to go to the old day. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So that's the kind of reinforcement of that use of that phrase. And that means uh, he he's referencing that God loves us. Mm -hmm. Well, he didn't say don't oh, fail though, you know, he, he said that other word. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm putting that in the chat. Um go and actually um, let me rewrite that in phonetics because go they da go they da do they. Okay. And then did he um I noticed he said uh tame so a lot. That to give you him the right. Tame so army. He tame so army. Yeah, tame so army. <clears throat> that means give the you right. the right. Yeah, right. Should be that right way. Or, that way. or permission. Uh-huh. Yeah. It should be that way. And so um uh, permission or give is that referring to like they gave us the right <clears throat> like what uh who's it referring to Tane so Ame? Well he says that about himself toward the end. Okay. I want the key yeah, Tane so dog. And then he says his age. And then he speaks. I Martha Nell isn't Tenzo Ame in, in that birthday song? Mm hmm. It is. Yeah, it's in there. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's that good. should give you an idea of, of the phrase. I mean, the way the word. I was. Uh, uh, express being uh, oh. given. I mean, he permitted you to be here. Oh, and then uh, Grandma D, you mentioned um, when God finished everything on Om Poigya. Is that right? Is it Poigya? Yes, on on on, on, on Om Poigya. And that's just he finished it, and mm -hmm. I would just say Ponga is uh, oh, Ponga. Uh, standing, right? Mm -hmm. Is that yeah? But that's just the way. That's the way that I would interpret it. But the way he used it, I understand what he's saying. Yeah, and all Ponga is like he's working to put things together, and he comes to a good place to stop, and that's what he's doing. All Ponga. Because he could keep on doing stuff too, you know. So it's almost like a pause in there for him. Um, how, how would you spell that, Bro Martha? A U and then P A U G. Yeah, G G Y A G Y. Yeah. Uh, and that's like that means P -O -O. in in the process. Yes. He stopped. He stopped for a while. And he came to <laughs> Okay. And then um, I was taking notes. So I'm trying to make sure I got all the notes. So you, then you referred to the word. Uh, I don't know. Nothing. I went off for a while somehow. She went out. 
Uh oh. It must be Melody. Uh huh. I think so. Thought she was just sitting there looking at us. <laughs> Melody's off, but Courtney's the hostess. What? Oh, is Melody? Uh oh. She's <laughs> typing for me. <clears throat> Hyundai, I'm sorry, uh, Dolores or Martha. Hyundai. I, I, I was thinking about that birthday song today, and I was uh, wondering, you know, all of the translation for that song and also who made that song. Oh, I don't know if we know who made that, do we yet? Well, there's a configure, what's his name? Charlie and Q. That's Tim and Q's uh, That's who I think made it. I, I asked him one time hmm. and he said it was at a birthday for a prayer meeting for a, someone in the Spotted Horse family. Hmm. And so, so he's related to them and that would be about one of the last power hymns that were composed you know like because after that time very few that i know of but there were some but then you have to remember the speakers or going away and those who made the song so that's about one of the last one i would say That, that song is uh, Dolores isn't that song typed out in English because I thought those so, kids learned it for um, a competition once here in Norman yeah it is somewhere Cricket probably has it you mean the yeah, yeah. the, the Norman group language language fair yeah right. that, oh. yeah the translation hall huh? okay mm -hmm. yeah Stay cricket about it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's uh, there's it's Charlie Andrew or Charlie Crooked Nick, as he was known to some the older people. Mm -hmm. Oh, a oh. whole. Can you guys hear me? Oh. Sorry, my audio, I lost connection for a minute. My internet's back. Um, let's see. I had one more question on this little G. Um, you said, uh, Grandma Marthy, you said, um, Long ago is Tonga Gadame. Mm -hmm. Tonga Gadame is what he said. Is it Tone or Ta? Tonga Gadame. Long ago. And the car went back and changed that all pong gift. Yeah. And that N in there is nasal. I can't type those on my computer though. Okay, let's see. So this is nasal. <laughs> that N. Tonga, you got me. Tonga, 
this tone gone. I have a thing of how to spell it. It would be spelled T-O-N-G-A-U. T-O-N-G-A-U. Get down me. Like that? Interesting. Right. Okay. And that N in there is nasal too, you know. On the yeah. Tongue. Yeah. Tongue, let's nasal. see. Nasal. Just remember wish I could type on this computer like it, but it's a Dell, so it doesn't like it. Like, <laughs> I know, me too. I need, I need a Mac. I need a Mac to do that. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm bad at that. <clears throat> Great down and All right. <laughs> um, uh, Judy, I'll try to put the link uh, in the Google Drive um, to the uh, birthday song. Oh. Because I, I know we have a few, a few copies of different translations. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, should we um, ready? Are we ready to go to the uh, next speaker? <clears throat> All right, uh, cool. Ed Hazel will be next. Hey, go. Can you be go wait? Those are my dates, so no, I ain't go. My eat at home, the door on tape. On get high, go day, yeah, on the name. I'm on. Hon de ha yung de mon ya pay de ko. Hon hon de toy ya ho. Ha ge. Hon de e go e do to e te go ge do to ha ge. Alo. Yu yo ho. Opo de ya se. Hon toy em ku do go ha. Ya. Ya ta o mo hold de soy. De so a do go. I hate it all, yeah. Oh, so good, they, they, all of me. I go, money, I get it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. He get to get home, the heart, the accolade, oh, to get home, oh, oh, go. To, they on, they get home, to get home, they up, oh, they on, to him, cool, they go, good dog, he on, they, oh, they, ta, they, oh, I on, they, on, I, yeah, to, yeah, I, to. Ah, get the book, get good, get on. Oh, quite don't get hot, get dirty. Oh, for how long, get done the book, get quite don't sound like they go on, on a poor day, come. Ah, get on, get good, get on, 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 get on. Okay, uh, would you play that again because there was some sort of interference? Oh, okay. Yes. Well, let me rewind it. Ed Hazel will be next. Hey, go. Can you be go wait? Those are my dates, so no, I ain't go. My eat at home, the door on tape. On get high, go day, yeah, on the name. I'm on. Hon de high, you the moon, yeah, play the dog. Hon hon de toy, yeah, ho. I get. Hon de egg, go, dot, dot, eight, eight, go, get, dot, oh, I get, I love. 
New York, up to get it. On time, cool to go out. Get hot on to get some more hot to. The solo get more hot to go. Get down the whole day so. The so a dog. A hey, the so ya. Go dog day day all go big. I go money to it. I get ye to it. Ki gam to get hot on to how they are collated. ก็ตัวเดียวเดียวเดียวตัวเดียวเตียวเปล่าเนี่ยคนทอยมคูเดียวก็กูดอกเอี้ยนเดียวตัวเดียวตาเดียวเปล่าเนี่ยคนทอย
and it's not went on into um the, the food but she's talking about uh, where um they got help with that and she said that she talked about generosity um all day time um just for your information i'm always hearing that the kaiwa people were very generous yeah so they must have been had a lot of audacness in their their being or something but i always heard that anyway and that's kind of what she's putting in there and then she's talking about you know caring for all this stuff and, and um, dolores said um they do they thought I means take care of what you know you have so that your family's fed i guess and, and at the end she talked about like she said um god's uh, goodness and kindness so that we had things Uh -huh. um let's see i'm sure i am hearing those words uh so the word uh grandma d referenced uh another word for the past he said on tape get off yes and then let me, i'll put that in the chat and then the other one he said uh, dog uh Dog, yeah, yeah, for kindness. And the kindness part is, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, very giving, so really giving people. And it's uh, T A U D E P. There's a colon between T A U colon D E P. Audit. Oh, okay. Uh, kindness. All right. Uh, so we have hospitable. What was that? That meaning for Kai what audit was generous, gracious, hospitable. Oh, okay. that's, that's why when people came to your home, you didn't say, "Have you eaten yet?" or uh, "Do you want a drink?" You know, they just did it. They just took care of them. You know? Oh. And then you said uh ape. So there's ape, yeah, and then ape Thai. To be generous, yeah. Tadape Thai. That's how kind of they end it. Well that when she was talking, that's what she kind of said it toward the end. Well, the tie was in there, but that's what I'm gonna say. I'll have to look for it. But the her other one where she said dog, dog eat all it. Yeah, oh it was a lot. He had a lot of um, kindness and goodness. Yeah, oh Yeah, oh Um, all right. And then the other word I wanted to uh, write down is the, uh, I think you said, uh, Grandma Marthy said, taking care of the things you have. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. How mm -hmm. do you say that? Or, you know, they, they, whatever you're talking about. Is it, like if it's uh, your food or something like that, you take care of your food. Is it goo day like a td? A goo and then no d e. Well, in the in Parker, it's d e because it's a t sound flying through that d. It would be g u and then d e. Goo day. Da. Da or da. Goo day da. Da. Yeah. 
Dog. It's dog. Goose is dog. Not dog. Dog is the state of being. Dog. Uh, you or he is our with. What you take care of. You like that shoe? Mm -hmm. You did? No, I didn't try it. I am on the same. I said, you did you like that shoe? <clears throat> and here's another way to I'll write it in phonetics. Who they uh, <clears throat> awesome. Um when uh when she was talking like kind of I guess it was maybe in the middle part. She said uh, something about a date. So, a uh, dog. Oh. What What is that referencing? Oh, say that again. She said date. So, a uh, dog. Oh. Date. So. Yeah. Date. Date. So. Date. Date. So is that? That's how you are. Or that's how she she is, or something. That's the way it's the, uh, dog. Is. is that what she said? Yeah, date. So, a uh, dog. Uh, She's kind of saying that's the way I am or something, you know. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss Marion. I heard Miss Marion say that's the way it is. <laughs> yeah. <It's already laughs> okay. She's saying that's the way I am because maybe she still did things like that, you know. I'm sure she did. <laughs> That's the way I like it. <laughs> <laughs> what about goose to hop? <laughs> Somebody's all taking care of goose to hop. Yeah, taking care, respecting something. Mm -hmm. How how did you say that? Can you say it again? <laughs> goose to hop. You like to take care of things. Goose to hop. Hop means you mm. like to do that. Are you always doing that? The hop. Uh, hop. Like H A U P. Well, it's G U com uh, colon G U colon uh, T uh, pop T, and then the last part is A U H A Q. So that whole H A P or H A T. H A P, hop. And that means that someone who likes to take Don't care of things. Be careful. There's someone that's always being careful. Yeah. Use the hop. Use the hop. they're always being careful. Use the hop. It's cool. highly priced. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. <clears throat> All right. Uh, any any other questions uh, for any of our elders? All right. I'm gonna um, press play. So that was uh, Hazel Botone. So now we're gonna listen to the next speaker. And for Miss Marion and anyone else who just joined, this is the uh, Kiowa Culture Program uh, tape recording uh, number thirty eight called The Use of Nature. I don't think this one really shows 38. Oh, yeah, number 38. That's a topic. Um, use of nature. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, they've been, uh, so far we listened to three speakers, uh, James Silverhorn, Tom Little Chief, and Hazel Bowtone. And they're talking about like the things that uh, God gave the Kiowas a long time ago and that we're, we have to take care of the earth and take care of the things we have and talking about how things changed and how like talk about some of the Kiowa values of generosity. So, all right, I'm going to press play. <laughs> Hey, Ta. Ta. Ah, cool. Hey, Good Esther. Well, get paid. I don't know. Don't get gone. 
All right, that was really short. That was just short. Was that hey? I'm not Hazel. Wow, Esther. Uh, Esther. Yes. Esther is it? Esther Topa. Yes. Topa. And she we're here for short. Do you want me to play it again? <laughs> yeah, play it again. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> Okay. Um, Grandma D, would you like to share anything that you that was interesting? Uh, Martha, now that she's a dog at dog. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. That means gifts that God gave to us. It's just like something he gave to us. Mm -hmm. Or uh, Anyway, she said that, and then she mentioned the seasons that people, because that's what God made, made the seasons, and then uh, and the was knew that and respected all those seasons, meaning, I guess, whatever you had to do during those different times, seasons. And, and uh, she said it was all God's gift. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, grab a mark. Okay. Um. Yeah, that was pretty short there. And um, she started out by saying that um about God's gift to us are all good. And she said you could be uh really hungry, and it, and um you could have your hand out with nothing, and you could have a piece of bread put in your hand, so you had something. And then she talked about um. The different seasons, she said winter and summer, she named them. She said they were all respected, I guess, because everything was so different in each season. But she said God made all of that. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the gist of it that I got. And she kept saying that word, yai bata, which means to respect something. Yai bata. Oh. Uh oh. 
And um, Miss Marion, would you like to comment? Um, that was, yeah, the same information because she said uh, God is good and he put um, everything that he, he's wonderful and that when you put out your hands when you're, I guess, you know, probably in need, but is what that would uh, mean. Then you receive as if things were just prepared. And um, that he's a good God, and just as Martha, what she said about naming the seasons, and the same thing with uh, Dolores, her comments. So, tell us about the only things because God gave his gifts, gave us his gifts. Okay, that's that's it. My comments. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, but, oh, I was going to put that in the chat. And then, uh, Grandma D, could you say the word again for the gifts that God gave us? Dog, yeah. Gone, yeah. She stepped away for a minute. Oh, oh okay. Or Grandma Martha, did you catch what she said? That word? Yes, I think she was saying like treating like the word like gifts, you know? Yeah. 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 Okay. Is it dog? Oh, yeah, gone. Gone. Yeah. Gone. Gone. Yeah. Gone. Gone. Yeah. Gone. Like G A U N. Okay. Gone. Gone. Yeah. 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 Yeah, God. like he's giving God. He, yeah, it's God. a gift. His gifts, like get God, you bring something. Okay, cool. I was trying to put that in the chat to make sure we don't forget it. All right. Does anyone have any questions about anything our elders shared? Okay, let's listen to the next one. Uh, come. Yeah. But the kittens on Monday I'm on that hard on the key. No anchor. Don't make harder. Don't worry on the key dog. And put them on from the cook at hands on me. Key good dog. Quite that dog. I couldn't do eight on the dog. I failed by the bank. Key so we want to fuck that eight on him. Uh I could feel my dog. They go out to get on. I connect go eight on the garden. Make them eight not clean, but don't get the get on dog. Go here. But not the counter to the new one. He won't call your name on my own. Go go. Eight no bed, eight cook a day. Come on, go with them. Get on get it. I can't go get the dog naked. Eight on the dog. They got on get a bar. The book dog. It's all in the house. And they got get tiny go. Up on one day. Eight on the dog. They be more common. It target the dog. Eat on the dog. Or they can't go stay on the on the. Eight the color. Get don't run about the gold. Don't go stay. They get don't pay for that. Don't. They get big back. Yeah. Okay, who's next? I'm going to uh, rewind it and see if uh, they caught his name, unless one of you recognizes yeah, his okay. voice. I didn't see get his name. Okay, and his was also really short, about a minute long. Let me let me rewind it, if you don't mind. <laughs> Get 
mä oon kuitenkin, että on saanut, mä en tiedä mun näitä aadaa nyt kiinni. No eikä, ja mis aata, ja mä ajan kiitaa. En pademaa, se onkin kyllä hensaa, mä enkä kiikultaa kyllä tarvitse. Kaikki, että on. Mä kun en kyllä ei tanki taas, että pelpäin, että enkä kiisa oli mun pakko, ei tanki. Aha, kun pion mä taati, kun hän taakka eikä taatikin aamaa. Mä kun en kyllä ei tanki taati, mä ei tanki, 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 mä ei tanki. Mä en ottaa kantattua, kun nuo on kii mun kajan reitä oma aankaka. Ei tämä pidä ei kulkaa reitä, kai moni kaa oli tämmönkin onkin reitä. Mä en kuin niinku kertoo taas näinko, ei tämäkin taas, niinko tämmönkin ää vaata, mutta itse olen asemaan sun niinko kettää niinko apu monta niinko. Ei tämäkin taas, niin mä oon kuulma, et ääkin kettää, ei taas, niinko tämmönkin taas, niinko tämmönkin taas, niinko tämmönkin taas. Ei te kalle ke tonda ne bodi kauni on ka teidi ke ton pelo da ton ke ben ba ta ja okay uh grandma d well i didn't get the name i don't know who it was he's talking fast but they're beginning and they talking real fast yeah i didn't get the name mm -hmm. But I can't really, might have been George Curie though, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, he was talking, I think, Aethon, does, does that mean bread? Mm -hmm. Is that what bread. he talked most, yeah. most about bread? Well, yeah. And oh. that, the end, that was God's gift, that was God's goodness. But he, he he had another name that I missed. I don't know what he said when he was talking about bread. And that's what mm -hmm. his talk most about bread and that, that how the 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 I guess the white people how they planted it and then they had wheat and then it turned into flour and then and then uh ate the the cook or whatever made it and then 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 we were able to eat the bread that was made. So he talked mostly about bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't know who the speaker was. Oh. Oh. Uh, Grandma Martha, <laughs> you want to add to that? Okay. He, he kind of went over again, like there had been in the story about talking about long ago. And he said that. Um, um, talking about um, the creator making this land and we as the Kiowa people um, kind of uh, coming in on it too. And um, then he starts talking about the food and he says, a dong, a dong, which sounds to me like maybe baked bread because that's the way they made it a long time ago. And he said, if you ate some bread for lunch, that's what he's talking about. And he said that the creator made everything. Uh, and then he goes on in to talk about the, I'm saying he's talking about the white flour, and he said um, that the white people learn how to and take the grain and make it into flour, and he said it was grown and then ripened, and and then he ended up by saying that he talking about the creator, he made all of this, and that's, that's what I got out of it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Miss Marion, would you like to comment? It was like, to me, he's making an analogy and saying that um, you see someone baking bread. And, um, so it's talking about... Um, the way we have things here on earth that were given to us as a gift and um, the things grow because he says yeah uh, then uh, that meant to me that he says there's every, all these gifts that were given by the creator that we make use of and they flourish, all these things flourish, they grow. 
and it's just like a woman baking bread. And so those were sort of the similarities in what he was trying to say, you know, like in having respect for what we've been given by the Creator. And so that's uh, what that's the information that I was getting out of it as well. But he, of course, those are a lot of good words that he spoke that are good to know. Oh. Okay, oh. that's all I'm going to mm -hmm. <clears throat> Awesome. Um, let's see, does anyone have any questions? Okay, I'll go to the next speaker. Who's next to uh, Isabel? And Okay. Um, Isabel to hatchet, uh, Grandma D. Well, she spoke about how God made everything, and I, I believe it, I heard her say that uh, He made everything like the trees so that you could get wood to build your fire. Then he also gave us water to use for us to use. And then uh, and then she mentioned uh, all gopin, the buffalo, and how useful that was. And the many things that the, that the car was used from the buffalo. He saw me, she says. And then, and then it's just, just amazing all the things that God made that we use, the car was used. Oh. And I was oh, trying to. Oh. Uh -huh. 
she said, Paul, you know, for all the being Paul, I don't remember what she said, but anyway, she's speaking of the buffalo. Oh, good. Oh, good. No, I'm good. Dolores. I'm good. Oh, God, being. God, yeah. I'm um, yeah. good. Yeah, more good and useful, you know, use mm -hmm. many uses. That was the word you missed. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Grandma Martha. Do you want to come? Uh, well, she, they pretty much covered it, but um, I like the way that she tied in everything that uh, the creator made that we could use to um, feed our families. And and like where she started out with, you know, he gave us the trees that we could use in many ways. I mean, many ways, not just to build a fire, but for a lot of things. But she says on here that um, with the wood you could make your fire so that you could make this bread you know she tied all that in there with the things that he made she was just marveling at all the things he thought of to make and then when she talked about the buffalo what she said was that um all gooey means um i was thinking that it had a lot of benefits to it because it provided our homes covers for our homes and everything they could use from it she didn't name everything but you know we all kind of know what it is and it was the last part was just telling me how God has made all of this Obama. Paul, I hope. Um, Miss Marion, would you like to add anything? Um, similar. She just, you know, talking about the plants and everything. Some that we uh, pick and use them for different things. How things grow, and of course, with the buffalo, with its many uses, and again, just you know, fascinating and just so wonderful what God has created. And I, when I think about God's creation, I always think of the word God's handiwork. Because when we talk to Isabel about some things and we look at the skyline or the mountains or whatever, and she would always uh, use those words and she'd say God's handiwork. And that always, you know, sticks with me, her, her description. Oh, oh that's, that's my. Uh -oh. Oh. <clears throat> awesome. All right. Any questions? Okay. I'm going to play the next one. Uh, go. Cool. Yale Spider-Bird. Nej, det kan jag gå. Dog, dog, nej, det dog. Han om då han det. Jag, jag om hel, jag kreerar om hel. Hon har gått om hel, det går. Nej, jag går om hel. En sån image kallt bara om kärn. Jag tycker jag hade jag gick jag att hon såg hade dog hon gå. Gå, nej, gå upp i där dog. Replenish the earth. Okay, don't get utilize it. But 
บัตรบัตรสอดเด็กภายเด็กเดี๋ยวอยู่เดี๋ยอันก็ดอกจะมอนครบให้ปอยอ่ะอาคอให้ก็เอ้าดีขีดแต่ก็นอกปอยก็ให้ก็บัตรก็ให้ก็บัตรให้เด็กอ๋อดอกนอกอนอีกดอกมาได้ก็ใช่ก็ดอกก็ได้ก็ดอกมอคุยมาให้ถ้าเกิดใช่ก็ทำปอกจ้ะได้เด้เอาอยู่ที่ไปเด็กก็บักขีบอกเอ้าแต่ละมันใช้กูได้เลยด้อไหมเอาอย่างนั้นแล้วอ่าบอลไอ้เจ้าเหี้ยด้อเด็กก็ใช่กูด้วยบุตรเต่าคนนี้ท่าเขาไอ้ก็น้อบัดด้อก็เกิดให้ก็เด็กก็บอกเด็กก็บอกบินเออใช่กันไปท่าอ๋อเดลเตต่อเดี๋ยวอย่าได้ก็ไปไปหัวหน้าอย่าได้เดาอ่อนเอ็กซ์ก็ a horse was a beast of burden and the the man would take very careful take him take good care of him เอ็กซ์ก็โดดตาเดาเลยแล้วอย่างอ๋อเดลเตต่อกูเดี๋ยวอย่าได้ that's one instead เอ็กซ์ what God has created what God has provided for us That we must. They, they did. The cow was used and very. They hon. They go get. Get good. They turn away. Turn them cool. Or turn away. Turn away. Get on. They they get get dog. Ah, how I go. Tad dog. Oh, it's like go saw my. Like go away. Yeah, he dog. Oh, they more and cow. Now I have to keep. They go. It's hard to do. I just go 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 my. I go. I go get. I go get. Get. Get so cold. No one here. I get the day boy. So I'm I'm abused on my even the people, to people, the animals, and uh, they don't waste the fish when they go fishing, and uh, also the other animals. How about dog, bang? They just use enough to so that they won't waste anything, and that was God given. And the cows were very, very. Uh, uh, Good and taking care of what God has provided for them. I only don't tie. So, I think. Well, he started out. I think he gave a biblical creation story briefly. First in Kiowa, and then then he told how uh, what he gave us was uh, uh, very useful, and and he also used on point. Yeah, he used that word again that you had before. Then he spoke of uh, horses. He does. He says he didn't know when or how we got the horses, but. They they were very they took very good care of their horses. They were very good to them. And then he went on to say that in, in the beginning, everyone was took care of everything. And then he brought in later uh, how some of the later the the cowboys didn't treat their Animals that well, and also he mentioned abusing their women. So I don't know anything about that, but anyway, he brought that in, and uh, and then he's saying that you didn't uh, use or take any more than you would use that you needed, and and. Of course, you heard the rest of it. He spoke a lot of English in this, so. so okay, over half, okay half. Mom, oh. <clears throat> um, Grandma Mark. Well, she pretty much covered everything there that I remember him saying, uh, and that like said he kind of quoted, you know, biblical terms in the beginning of what his creation was. Uh, and beside uh, um, creating man, he also made the um, animals, the fish and the birds, uh, and asked man to go out to replenish the earth, uh, to use what came from the earth, and to work it well. Um, 
Um, and then uh, he, she covered everything down to where they even got the horses and they said um, uh, they were useful, but they did, sometimes they got treated badly uh, and they needed to be taken care of them because they were providing things for them. So um, they told them to make food, they thought means take care of those horses, you know. Um, and but it, he came and mentioned that even with horses, you know, they could get mean with the women so much that some of abused and beating. So um, maybe they had to learn all over again. But but he said not to waste anything like food, like for instance, fish or turkey. He mentioned those. He said they were all God given, and uh, Kairos took care of what was given to them. Obama. Oh, oh, uh, Grandma, uh, let's see. Oh, I'll ask my question later. Uh, Miss Marion, would you like to comment? Mm, same <clears throat> comments, and of course, taking care of the horses, <clears throat> like, <clears throat> excuse me, they thought, which means take care of them. And then on some things, he says, Hantuan Coot Dog, which means, you know, don't take advantage. Go make, um, well, overdo things. And uh, when he's talking about in the beginning where God gave us everything, but we should use the things he gave us, but then we have to replenish them. And then he, of course, like today, everybody works. So, and, and um, works for whatever they receive and should be telling if I'm going to that. And then, of course, we had the horses first and then the, I mean, the dogs first and then the horses. And since the Indians did depend upon the horses as, as well as the white people for so many different things. I just stuck the comment about the white people, but um, that was the reason for respecting and taking care of the horses. The animals don't whip them, he said, because there were, I've heard stories about where people whip their horses or some persons did whip horses, and that was not the thing to do because um, the horses were useful for so many different things. And that's it. But whatever, what Dolores and uh, Martha said was uh, the same. Thank you. I agree with what they said. Oh, oh. Um, Miss, uh, let's see, uh, Miss Marion, you said, uh, uh, take care of it, he said, beitado. Right? Yeah, Mar Martha, you want to say that? Yeah, take care of something. Yeah, take, when you watch it, do things. Beitado, like that. Yeah. Beitado. 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 To take care of it. I'll watch over it or something. Basically. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk about the horses and animals. Take care of them. Oh, in the chat. And uh, the other word, uh, Miss Marion, you said <clears throat> uh, the word for don't take advantage or overdo it. You said, Han Toy Gutta. You repeat that? Gutta. Martha, you want to on, pronounce that too? Who, on, on toy. Oh. Yeah. Grandma Martha, could you oh. say that also? Wait a minute. Say, say that again, Mary. What are we discussing? I was looking at something. <laughs> that was one of the words that he, that was one of the words that he used. On toy. On toy. I mean, it's like, it's like, don't go too far. Don't take advantage. You know, like, don't, don't 
Oh, wait, that's, a, that's kind of a little bit of a different one. Don't go too far, basically, is the way it is. Yeah. Yeah, don't go too far. Um, uh, is it Han Toy Gupta? Han Toy and Gupta. You can play it again. <laughs> My good job. It's like when oh. sometimes And then, um, let's see, the word, uh, they good, they thaw, take care of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can mm. Take care of them. Yeah. Just taking care. And then I heard him say, um, uh, let's see, goi ho on. He said that a couple times. Yeah. Kyle away. I will away. Boy, hope. Boy, 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 <laughs> One is it Han Toy Begun? Oh, is that what it is? It's what it Han Toy and Kook Dog. And Kook Dog. Okay. That's why I say you can play the tape. Yeah. Oh, like a case. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Han Toy. Toy and Kook Han Toy and Kook Dog. Toy and Kook Dog. Okay. Toy and Kook Dog. It's like going too far. Yeah. Is it like going yeah. too far? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I said. Don't go too far. Yeah. Toy, toy, man. It's going to take advantage. Yeah. yeah. When you're I'm doing saying. something, or, mm -hmm. you just take it too far. About yeah. It's not you can, talking about traveling, it's talking yeah. about behavior. Toy and coot stuff. I mean, somebody's taking it bad. He's going too far with whatever they're doing. They shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. Taking yeah. it and winning. That's what I said. Because sometimes you say, like sometimes people say, oh, they got carried away and just get yeah. on. You know? Yeah. That's that's this is, yeah. Um, Grandma Martha, is that second spelling I put in there, is that more close to it? Han toy in kuta. Yeah, in kuta. Oh, okay. Han toy in kuta. Sounds like a K. Yeah. In this I was going to, I put a G at first, but it sounds more like a K when you, you both are yeah. saying it. Kuta. I got so K. Go too far. Um, yeah. Han is, uh, that, so in this case, you put Han in front of it. it is someone didn't go too far. If you just left that haunt off of there and you get the rest of it, it means somebody did go too far. <laughs> they went too far. Yeah. That's right. Go. Oh. Mm -hmm. The haunt means don't. No. Yeah. Is that kind of one of our phrases, Samarian? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure to remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was hearing. That's what I finally got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and cool stuff. That's when they get mad at somebody for doing something. That's supposed to. I'm toying and cool stuff. I just got kept. Yeah, like, just going on and on. Yeah, I kept going uh, in the wrong direction. <laughs> 
Nice. Um, well, know, let's see. Like, <clears throat> yeah, it's not like something to eat. And they just keep eating. <laughs> in, that case, in that case, me all going a little funky. <laughs> if we get reading. <laughs> nice. Um, so it looks like we still have maybe about a couple minutes left on this tape, maybe five minutes or so. Um, but it is five o'clock, 5.01. <laughs> So <clears throat> I think that's our stopping point for today. Mm -hmm. And we can pick it back up uh, next Sunday and finish that recording and then go to that next uh, one that everyone voted for. Um, I'll send the recordings out. Um, and let me um, see if uh, Judy and Courtney or whoever was looking for those uh, birthday songs, I put the Google drive links in the chat and i can send i can send those out with the follow-up email also just in case you you aren't able to look at the chat i can uh, email the pdfs oh. <clears throat> awesome all right um well this i feel like this one is we uh, there's a lot to uh, learn from this all these uh, phrases are good phrases that we learn today so Hyundai uh, uh, last one uh, that, that last one did that did that also refer to or what did that refer to when he was talking about taking only what's needed that phrase um by the hot toy hot toy and coop uh, that one mm -hmm. oh would that be the same about not taking advantage or not, you know, just use what's needed. Mm -hmm. We were talking about don't waste food right in there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> all right. Any other questions? All right, I'll send a follow-up email with the recording and the chat box so you all can have the uh, the words. And um, let's see, uh, Miss Judy, hey, Doc, sorry. Doc, yai, ho, day, hey, on, pal, do, ma, ten, hey, on, and then a boy may stop on my arm, they not go up, cut him to ye, ducky, Tadeka, Obaha, a ho. A ho. Thank you. All right, everyone. Um, Thank you for joining. And um, like I said, I'll send out the follow up email here over the next few days. And we'll finish this recording next Sunday and then we'll start a new one. Um, let me know if you need anything. And um, we'll also be meeting on Wednesday as well. And um, hopefully, uh, I turned off the registration thing, so hopefully you won't get asked a bunch of questions when you click on the link. <laughs> hopefully it'll be easier. All right. Hega ba oi bonta. Hega ba oi don tai ta. Ah. Ah. Aho. 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 Aho.